Members of the board of the Nigeria Prize for Leadership make their way into the hall for the investiture ceremony. Your Excellency is very distinguished. This is the third in the series to recognize and honor the role of leaders who are change makers in the country. The selection committee was made up of men and women from various parts of the Federal Republic of Nigeria who have distinguished themselves in the various areas of service and who are men and women of integrity and honor. Some of the parameters used in assessing the role of Nigerians who have distinguished themselves as leaders includes creativity and innovation, vision, charisma, integrity and transparency. Some experts here suggest that the day be set aside to celebrate leaders who exemplify outstanding qualities. Since 2020, we have set aside the 12th of December each year to call attention to the importance of effective leadership in building our nation. This is the third edition of this initiative, and we can confirm that the value has been significant. We will explore going forward on how we may escalate these modest efforts, international movements that will in time redefine Nigeria as a symbol of our values, honesty, and integrity. And after the remarks, it's time for the investiture ceremony. The investiture is conferred on Professor Suleiman Bogoro, the former executive secretary of the Tertiary Education Fund. <laughs> Professor Bogoro commends the organizers and calls for increased funding for research and development. Today, the NRF of Tet Fund is holding the largest research grant in Nigeria. In the year 20, 2019, up to that time, before I was reinstated by Mr. President upon recommendation of the Honorable Minister of Education, Mala Adamu Adamu, Tetfan had 4 billion naira spread over eight years for the NRF. That comes to arithmetically 500 million per annum. In the year 2019, NRF grant will be 5 billion instead of 500 million. 17 young Nigerians were conferred as fellows of the Nigerian Prize for Leadership. This exercise is to inspire quality leadership in the country and position the successor generations to strive for excellence in leadership, both in the public and the private sectors.